What's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics like this one that we're talking about, and all things reality TV based. What's going on, you guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Friday, and I intend on doing the exact same. So let's go ahead and get into the mess right now. So we're going to go ahead and get into Miss Carly Russell once again. Now, she's been in the news. We already know what we already know what's going on. It's, it's been pretty much confirmed and predicted that she was out here faking the funk with this whole situation with her being kidnapped and abducted and all of those things. We talked about, we did a whole live about it. We had people coming up on the lives to discuss it, giving their opinions on the situation. And it's it's a general consensus that she was faking it and she was giving us a Jesse Smollett another situation like that and people are speculating whether or not her friends knew her family knew and it was also said that she did all of all of the things that she did because she was upset with her boyfriend and speaking of her boyfriend we're going to go ahead and get into this thing let's see did we already click on it okay i'm gonna go ahead and get into this thing now according to the neighborhood talk carly russell's boyfriend deleted her post um De deleted the post um, defending her in the mid of the news of her recent searches, okay? So he deleted it, and I think the post was basically saying, I don't know how to start off this post, but to only say thank you to my Lord Jesus Christ, Savior, for saving my girlfriend's life. Also, thank you to everyone who shared a picture. Came out to the Hoover Mint, uh, Mint to help us with the search parties who went and proceeded to tell other people about Carly to bring more awareness to her story. I have been going nonstop since I received the call that she was missing on Thursday night. I, know, I knew she could have come the same way for me. So I wasn't going to give up until I saw her face again. I was It was straight tunnel vision. Even when I would get on social media on my downtown and see some of these false allegations and assumptions about me having something to do with her abduction would have discouraged me at all times. I didn't give up and, keep, and I kept my faith. I just want to thank all of my family, friends, former teammates and church members who called and texted me just to let me know that they're praying for me. You guys don't know how much that meant to me. All I ask from people right now is to be respectful of Carly's situation. She was literally fighting for her life for 48 hours. So until she's physically and mentally stable again, she is not able to give any updates on the whereabouts on her kidnapper at this moment. I also want to thank people on social media who has been understanding, respectful, and what she's about what she's been going through in these past few days. Once again, I can't thank you guys enough for helping us bring Carly home. God bless y'all. Now, that was the post that he deleted. And I wonder why you deleted it, sir, because now you know that your girlfriend was sitting up here lying to the people. And it sucks that she was lying to the people. I must say that because, like I said, there were so many people that was worried about her and really wanted to see her ass come home. So for you to sit up here and lie and do all this extra shit and make people believe or make people feel as though, like, you were missing. You know what I mean? Like. It's just it's just straight facts. Like you were missing, and come to find out, you weren't really missing for real. Like that was just something that you conjured up just so you can just so you can um get some attention from somebody. Like like I said on my live, like whatever happened to um busting windows out of nigga car or calling his job, cursing them out, like petty shit like that. Like why are we doing? Why are we going so far as to um? As to you know, staging kidnappings and abductions. That's that's just really not cool. That's fucked up. There's many people that's that that's really happened to, and now people are going to be very skeptical when it comes down to looking for somebody. So I really hope that she gets the prayer that she needs and everybody else that's around her because this is an effed up situation and it's given to one of Brawley. Um, if you don't know anything about Tawana Brawley, let me refresh in your memory real fast because um it's that's what it's given, it's given to one of Brawley. Not Tawana Bradley. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put that. Tawana Brawley. That's what it's giving. She's a she's a she was a girl that came out years ago, many many years ago. Okay, so let me let's just talk about that real quick. I'm not gonna go into the whole story, but in the late 1980s, um, this girl named Tawana Brawley, right? She was like 15 years old. She came out 
And she said that she had been kidnapped and she had been, you know, S.A. by six white men. She was found with a KKK written across her chest and all that. And she claimed that she was traumatized and she was answering yes or no questions by blinking her eyes and all that stuff. Like she made the 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 um the case seem so vile. And then when it came down to it all those years ago, then in the midst of it, she had to um. She had to basically admit that what happened to her was messed up. Like it was all a hoax the entire time. Like it was never true. And this is what this is giving me. Like Carly, um, what's her name? What is this girl's name? Carly Russell situation is given to Wanna Briley, and that's not a good look. Because we know she was the biggest liar of them all. But anyway, with that being said, y'all, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boys up out here until my next video. I'll holler at y'all later. Bye.